hold of it is in your body. I mean, that would be a, a smart thinking. And so it's an antacid. And it's all your adrenal steroids are made from cholesterol, or at least most of them, LDL. And that's uh, anti-inflammatories. When you have pain, a medical doctor will give you a shot of, uh, of cortisone or something. Pain is acid side of chemistry. And you use the base side of chemistry to fight that. Kind of like uh, I spent years in emergency rooms. And when you come into the ER, it is acidosis, whether it's trauma or dietary related. And we hang a bag of normal saline and, uh, and start cooling you down, backing down that pain and inflammation. That's, uh, that's a sodium solution. Of course, if you're, like I said, if you're a lunger and you have a lot of milk drink and a lot of mucus in your lungs, it's going to give you pneumonia because how you detoxify the body is on the base side of chemistry. Remember, that's a cationic experience. And I try to get into that in detoxification between anionic and cationic. Anionic is when acids create a dehydrated, a coagulated type of experience. And uh, I won't get into that too much, but the cationic experience is where is, it starts to rehydrate the fluids. And then things start to eliminate. You start to have healing crisis. Cold wear will do the same thing. You know, when I was growing up in Indiana, they said, don't go out in the cold, you'll catch a cold. And I uh, always wondered why bacteria doesn't function well below 40. That reminds me, someone wrote me a thing on Cipro. Whoever made Cipro and still uses it needs to go to jail. You know, it's killed too many people already. Killed the last lady with anthrax, if you hadn't noticed. And so what they did immediately after it killed her, she said, well, they said, well, oh, that, we're going to change the antibiotic for anthrax because uh, you could get addicted or, or the, it could, Cipro could become ineffective. I mean, this is the lies, the lies, the constant lies out of these people's mouths. Someday we all need to have these people accountable. If not, the supreme being will, because karma is a fact, guys. That goes to you federal judges that are corrupt, too. Bad karma, not good, wouldn't want to be in your shoes here. But remember, depression is a lack of calcium utilization. The body uses cholesterol and calcium to fight acids. And if you're a mom and you lose acids to your ba or calcium to your babies, and you have a parathyroid weakness, you, you can't put it back. You're going to find depression there. You're also going to find bruising easy. You're going to find varicose and spider veins. You're going to prolapse in the breast, the uterus, the bladder, the bowels. Get saggy, wrinkly. That's all a loss of tone of connective tissue. You lose your bones, osteoporosis. That's a lack of calcium utilization and the loss of calcium to this gigantic lymph system that's fighting acids for you. So you'll find that I'm going to tie this always back to the same thing. Remember, I said if you you might not want to tell other people how simple this is. <laughs> it's a crying shame. Anyway, someone also asked me about uh, cannabis. Oh, on this 13-year-old girl, just keep raw. Uh, I would use a glandular for the parathyroid because this is a case at 13. It's genetic. And uh, not to throw too much intellectualism in here, but uh, you would have to understand it might be your pituitary involved. You want to check her height and her growth factors and other things related to the pituitary because the pituitary, the head gland, controls the parathyroid and thyroid. So it is possible that we're looking at a pituitary problem. But all raw, a lot of greens and stuff like that if you want to rebuild the body. Someone asked me about cannabis. Well, I'm an old cannabis user from way back, but uh, not for years. But, um, you know, it's a shame we live. And I, I think if you see all these presidential candidates, half of them want to legalize this. This is a good, uh, a good herb. Uh, herbs should, no one should be ever allowed to uh, uh, not to, to bar anybody from using God's herbs. That's why I named my company God's Herbs, because the uh, supreme being made them. We just use them. Uh, so uh, tincture it or use it in a tea like, um, like they do in Jamaica. Uh, smoking anything is toxic. Emollien in herbal in herbology is is used to uh, for lungs and anti-inflammatories, and emollien is a good anti-inflammatory. But and it does loosen up hardened mucus and stuff. But if you smoke anything, that's acid, and your blood can't be acid. Remember, that's the lymph system's job. 
if your blood gets acidic, you only have four minutes to uh, call your family, tell them goodbye, make sure you find a grave site, and uh, get ready to leave. Definitely in favor of cannabis, but uh, it's a neurotoxin. And the problem with neurotoxins is that if you're running low blood pressure with weak adrenal glands, it can shut down your breathing. The, the Michael Jackson syndrome, you know, that's the problem with anesthesia. And I think I, I, I did a video on that, how this is killing a lot of kids uh, from going under, under anesthesia with weak adrenal glands and uh, suppressing their ability to breathe. And they're already suppressed in the autonomic nervous system. That's the autonomic nervous system. That means that's the automatic nervous system that makes you breathe, heart pump, bowels move without you even thinking about it. You suppress that system and now you start thinking about breathing, heart pumping, and bowels moving. And that's the adrenal glands again. So, uh, someone else asked me here, uh, Herbs by O-T-S-C-O. I'm not familiar with the company. I don't like rhubarb root. Turkey rhubarb is a, is a, a laxative. I don't like laxatives uh, because of their addiction. I don't like to purge the body, coffee enemas, things like this. No, no, no. You don't try to stimulate. You can't stimulate your lymph system to move. It's simple. You've got to fix the doorway. You have to fix the eliminative organs uh, of this lymph system, which is the kidney and the adrenal control of that. And then, of course, the proper chemistry, anionic and cationic, two sides to think about. Anionic is a dried up fluids. It dries up your eye fluids, your mouth, or your knees, uh, synovial fluids. It dries you up. It dehydrates you. Your mucus gets thick and hard. And, uh, and so uh, uh, you want to get a cationic experience. And so we, we sometimes purge uh, a lot of things. I know Richard Schultz is a, one that likes a lot of habaneros and uh, the hot peppers. But you stimulate the, this mucosa too much, you're creating a lot more mucus and you just have to get rid of it. And the stimulation at that level isn't health. You know, that's old thinking way back in there. So this formula that you sent me with the black seed, peppermint leaf, fennel seed, rhubarb root, cinnamon stick, ginger root, uh, cumin, and, and uh, psyllium seed, mediocre. No, not offense to the herb company by any means, but I've been making herbal formulas for 40 years, and uh, uh, I was sent here on this planet to do this for you. So, um, it, you know, some formulas are better than others, no uh, question about that. Uh, digestive enzymes, uh, don't do them, I can tell you. I have had a lot of serious pancreatic cancer case. One of my most serious was a lady who had degenerative pancreatic cancer as opposed to a tumor. And that's the worst kind, of course. It's easy to get rid of a tumor as opposed to rebuilding uh, a whole gland that's falling apart. So. Um, she ate an apple. She uh, pooped an apple, basically. And uh, it took me 11 months to bring this case back to life, but uh, I did do that case. That made a lot of news. She was a tough case, and I write about her in my books. But she wasn't digesting anything. No digestive enzymes left. And uh, when I got done with her, and I did not use digestive enzymes, when I got done with her, she was digesting everything. So I took her away from doing any physical activity because I, I needed her a soul to feed that body energy because she wasn't getting carbon uh, from, from, the, uh, from digesting her carbohydrates. So I had to get her from breathing. So I put her in deep breathing. I put her on fruit juices and herbs for the pancreas and, of course, the lymph and kidneys and everything else. And little at a time, guys, I got her back. Major healing crisis, though. A lot of tumors popping out all over her and her teeth falling loose and abscesses in her mouth, but she got back. I go over that in my uh, video on the uh, detoxification. Because